Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's lecture is quick revision of basic electrical engineering which is the subject for first year engineering students. I will be providing certain tips to remember the things very easily as well as I will provide you the list of formulae which is required to solve the numericals. See, you don't have to mug up all the formulae available in the subject. Only some formula are required for solving the numericals. I will provide you the list according to each topic. So do watch this video to, uh, till the end. So first topic is single phase AC circuit. Now this chapter starts with purely resistive circuit. So first part is purely resistive circuit. As the name indicates, this circuit consists of only a single resistance. Now, how to remember the things? Drawing a diagram is pretty simple. If it is purely resistive circuit, how to draw the diagram? Show somewhere voltage source. Throughout this unit, the equation of voltage is common. That is Vm sin omega t. Don't assume any other equation. So V is Vm sin omega t. Vm is known as maximum voltage. Now, if it is purely resistive circuit, very simple, draw a resistor in series with this voltage source, which is R. Now, remember one basic thing. In case of purely resistance, there is no phase difference between voltage and current. Many students are getting confused as far as the phase shift is concerned. I will tell you the simplest technique how to remember the phase shift part. Now, if you want to draw the diagram of voltage and current, then how to draw it? On the same axis, I will plot voltage as well as current. On this axis, I am plotting time period T. First, in all, throughout this unit, the diagram of voltage, I mean, waveform of voltage remains constant. It is like this. We know the standard reading 0, pi, 2, pi, and so on. As I mentioned, throughout the subject, this diagram of voltage is same, which is common. This voltage is maximum voltage Vm. So this is the voltage waveform. In case of purely resistive circuit, if you want to draw the current waveform, keep in mind one sentence. For, for resistive circuit, voltage and current are in same phase. That means whatever waveform of voltage you have, you should get similar type of waveform of current like this. Only keep in mind the amplitude of current is less than that of voltage. So this is the current waveform. Whereas this first waveform is the voltage waveform. Naturally, this maximum value is Im. How will you come to know whether they are in same phase? Very simple. This maximum value of voltage as well as maximum of value of current are along the same line. They are having at the same point. So voltage and current are in same phase. Next is purely inductive circuit. Now, in case of inductor, you need to remember one important thing. Before that, how to draw the diagram? Just replace register by the inductor. This will be the circuit for purely inductive uh, nature. So in case of inductor, notation is L. Now, remember one important concept. The resistance is denoted by R. It is opposition to the flow of current, whereas opposition provided by the inductor to the flow of current is denoted by XL and XL is 2 pi FL, where XL is known as reactance of inductance, L is the value of inductance, F is the frequency. Now, to make the thing simple, remember one basic point. In case of inductor, current lags the voltage by an angle pi by 2. I will repeat, in case of inductor, remember it, current is lagging than the voltage by an angle pi by 2. That means, uh, suppose this, this reading is pi, so somewhere this reading will be pi by 2 in between 0 and pi. So to draw the waveform, as I mentioned, voltage waveform remains same. If I want to draw the current waveform, may, make the thing simple. Since it is lagging, it will start late. So it will start from pi by 2 and its amplitude will be less than that of the voltage. So this is the current waveform. Very simple. Same diagram of voltage I have uh, kept it as it is. Current is starting from pi by 2 because in case of inductive circuit, the current lags voltage by an angle pi by 2. Now, these are the two formulae, two trigonometric identities you need to remember to derive the expression of power. You need to prepare the expression of power for purely inductive circuit. So, these are the formulae required. Next is purely capacitive circuit. 
As the name indicates, very simple. Again, I will simply replace inductor by capacitor. So circuit now is known as purely capacitive circuit. Now, in case of inductor, what I said, the current through the inductor lags the voltage by an angle pi by 2, that means 90 degree. So, inductive current was starting later. Whereas, remember it like this, in case of capacitor, current leads. So, it is leading than voltage by an angle pi by 2. So, it will start earlier by some angle pi by 2 and waveform will be like this. Very simple trick. So, in case of capacitive circuit, current is leading, whereas in case of inductive circuit, current is lagging. Now, if you want to write the equation of uh, uh, current, then in case of purely resistive, in case of resistive circuit, see, this is the equation of voltage common to everything. In case of resistive circuit, I will write equation of current as I m sin omega t. Same as that of voltage, only notation is changed. Because in case of purely resistive circuit, voltage and current are along same phase. Whereas in case of purely inductive circuit, what I said, current lags voltage by an angle phi by 2. So this equation becomes I m sin omega t minus phi by 2. Whereas in case of capacitive circuit, the equation can be written as I m sin omega t plus phi by 2. Because current leads by an angle pi by 2 compared to the voltage. Now, this is the formula which is required to derive the expression of power for purely capacitive circuit. Similar to this formula, only here sin omega t minus pi by 2 gives you minus cos omega t. Since this is plus sign, it will give you cos omega t. So, let us discuss the remaining part. Next is series RL circuit. How to draw the diagram? Make it simple. It is since the name indicates it is RL circuit, I have drawn register and inductor in series with voltage source. Value of voltage remains same, Vm sin omega t. Now, remember the basic things. What I said, in case of purely inductive circuit, current lags by an angle pi by 2 compared to the voltage. If it is RL circuit, the angle is not pi by 2, it is some angle phi. So, waveform of voltage and current remains same. Only difference is that in the earlier case, in case of purely inductive circuit, I have shown this angle phi. It was pi by 2. Now, it is phi. It can have any value. So, the, the voltage and current waveform remains same as that of purely inductive circuit. Only angle is changed. Now, how to draw the phasor diagram? But important part, students are always getting confused where, whether it is leading or lagging. Make the thing simple. For drawing the phasor diagram, always on the horizontal axis, mark current. So, on this axis, I am marking current. Do remember, current and voltage across resistor, VRD presence, voltage across resistor is along the same line. Now, what I said, in case of inductive circuit, current is lagging. Make it reverse way. Since current is lagging, voltage is leading. So, if I want to draw the diagram of voltage across inductor, it is VL, voltage leads by an, an angle 90 degree. Just remember it like this. Since current is lagging, it means voltage is leading. So, leading means I have shown it in the positive side, in the upper portion. So, this is VL. Let us complete this diagram. How to complete it? I will complete this rectangle like this then I will draw the resultant voltage V. This is the resultant voltage V, which is addition of VL and VR. This angle is phi. Now, if it is asked to draw the voltage triangle, make the thing simple. Just remove this. See, this voltage is VL. So this part is again representing VL. If it is asked to draw the voltage triangle, just remove this part. The remaining diagram is the voltage triangle. Very simple. If it is asked to draw the impedance triangle, again triangle remains same. Impedance triangle means this is VR. So on this axis, I will write R. This is VL. On this axis, I will write XL. XL is the reactance of uh, inductance. That is opposition of inductance. And on this axis, I had written V. V is the total voltage or apply voltage on this axis, right? Z. Z is known as total impedance. One more thing. R is the resistance which is opposition to the circuit. If resistor, if circuit contains only resistance, then opposition is R. If it contains like R and L or R and C or RLC, then total opposition is denoted by Z. Z is called as impedance. In this case, 
this is RL circuit. So impedance is written as R plus JXL. This is known as impedance. Now this is the list of formulae which is required to solve the numericals on RL circuit. So equation of Z also I have written current I is V by Z. Then V, this is an important formula. V is under root of Vr square plus Vl square. V is supply voltage. Vr is voltage across resistor. Vl is voltage across inductor. Power factor is cos phi and power consumed is given by equation Vi cos phi. Next is series RC circuit. It is similar to RL circuit. What change you need to make? Replace L and write a capacitor. This is series RC circuit. Remaining all the things are the same. How, how to uh, remember the things. In case of purely capacitive circuit, what I said, current is leading by an angle phi by 2. Same like the earlier uh, case. In this case, current leads by an angle phi. That is the only difference. Earlier, it was leading by an angle phi by 2. So, voltage and current waveforms are same. Only this value is changed. It was phi by 2. Now, it becomes phi. Now, to draw the phasor diagram, again on the horizontal axis, mark I or VR. VR is voltage across resistor. Then, current is leading in case of purely uh, RL circuit or capacitive circuit. That means voltage is lagging. Current and voltage are uh, opposite of each other. What I said, since in capacitive circuit, current leads, voltage lags. Since voltage is lagging, I will show the capacitive voltage VC like this. It is it is lagging by an angle pi by 2. This angle is 90 degree. So resultant voltage can be drawn like this. This is the resultant voltage like this. I will complete this triangle. So this is the resultant voltage. Now, this part, this is VC. So again, this line represents VC. This line is representing VR. And this line is total voltage V, which is result on top VR and VC. If voltage triangle is asked to make the changes, show only this part. That's it. This is the voltage triangle for purely capacitive circuit. If impedance triangle is asked, again the things are similar to the last case. In place of VR, write R. In place of VC, write XC. And in place of V, write Z. This is the impedance triangle. Remember one formula, XC is 1 by 2 pi FC. XC is reactance of capacitance. C is the value of capacitance. And what we learned earlier, this formula is again required for derivation of power. In case of RL circuit, we discussed, uh, it was Z plus JXL. Now in this case, in case of capacitive circuit, it becomes R minus JXC. This formula remains as it is power factor and equation of power formula uh, remains as it is. So this was about the uh, series RC circuit. Next part is series RLC circuit. As the name indicates, three components are used, resistor, inductor and capacitor. Now, make the thing simple. Uh, this is the list of formula uh, which is required for solving the numericals. Let us first discuss this point. How to draw the phasor diagram? There is inductor as well as capacitor. As we discussed earlier, in all cases, this axis, horizontal line, is taken as a reference where I and VR are written. VR is voltage drop across uh, register. In all diagrams, VL is leading and VC. This is, line, this is line representing VL. Another line is representing VC. Now, we will consider different cases. If VL is greater than VC, VL is what? Voltage drop across inductor. If you want to show in the diagram, this will be VL, voltage drop across inductor, then voltage drop across capacitor will be VC and voltage drop across resistor, this voltage drop will be VR. Now, remember basic things, VL leads, VC lags. Now, if VL is greater than VC, that means line, length of this line which represents VL should be shown more than that of VC. So, very simple. Uh, this is the phasor diagram. This angle is 90 degree. This uh, uh, lower angle is minus 90 degree. Only length of VL is uh, more than VC because VL is greater than VC. And you may write in the exam like this. XL is greater than XC. Same as VL and VC. So XL is greater than XC. Since VL is greater, the circuit is said to be inductive. If it is asked to draw the voltage diagram, how to draw it? Since circuit is inductive, voltage triangle remains same as that of series RL circuit because it is inductive circuit. 
second case vl is less than vc again make the thing simple this is current axis as well as vr axis since vl is less length of vl is shown less than that of vc this is length of vc diagram remains same only the thing is that since vl is less than vc that means xl is less than xc so circuit will be capacitive voltage triangle as well as impedance triangle remains same as that of rc circuit now last case vl is equals to vc again make the phasor diagram it's very simple show length of vl at vc equals to same so vl is equals to xc that means uh, vl is equals to vc that means xl is equals to xc and under this condition the circuit is said to be resonant now very very important part is you need to prepare derivation of resonance frequency how to prepare it you should not skip such derivations because it's pretty simple just remember one condition at resonance xl is equals to xc so xl is a uh, reactance of inductance which is given by 2 pi fl xc is reactance of capacitance which is given by 2 pi fc we are calculating resonant frequency so let us denote frequency f by new notation fr so in this equation every f i will denote it by fr simply rearrange the terms transfer this fr over here so it becomes fr square then transfer this 2 pi l at the rhs so it becomes 1 by this already 2 pi is there if i will transfer it becomes 2 pi bracket square this l is again transferred lc so fr is simply 1 by 2 pi under root lc this is the derivation of resonance frequency which is the most important derivation you need to draw the diagram and write this condition this is called as condition of resonance and derive these things it's pretty simple as far as numericals are concerned you just need to remember three formulae you can solve any numerical related to this do remember in the question word can be like this maximum current resonance will not be mentioned directly but if you see the word maximum current it means that it is series resonance circuit and to calculate resonance frequency you need to make use of this formula so uh, th this is about the series rnc circuit once again don't try to mug up the phasor diagrams i have shown you the logical things how to remember the things so let us move to the next topic that is polyphase circuit next part is polyphase ac circuits there are two important parts. First is star connection network. Now see, students always find it difficult for star and delta connection, especially for drawing the phasor diagrams. I will tell you the simplest technique to draw the phasor diagram. But uh, presently, this connection is known as a star connection or Y connection. Z indicates impedance. Now there are two parts. One is line and another is phase. Make the thing simple. Line is a simple wire phase is a branch for example in this case impedance z, z is shown and uh, and one more thing remember three words r y b so these are this is related to the three phase connection r y b now make the thing simple in every branch i have shown impedance z this is r terminal current flowing or coming from r wire is ir from y is iy this current from b terminal is I, ib now in case of star connection remember this formula line current is il and it is ir which is equals to ib which is equals to iy and do remember very important part in case of star connection line current and phase currents are same line voltages are vl is vry what is vry there are three terminals R, Y and B. V, R, Y represents voltage between R and Y, between these two points, is V, R, Y. Similarly, V, Y, B, voltage between Y and B, V, uh, B, R, voltage between B and R. So, this is known as the line voltage, whereas phase voltage is same as V, R, which is equals to V, Y, which is equals to V, B. So, this is the diagram for star connection. This is applied to to the three phase circuits correspondingly r is connected to r terminal y to the y terminal of input line and b to the b terminal of uh, input line now 
from for solving the numericals you need to remember this formula apparent power 3 vph into iph i have given the formula in terms of phase voltage and phase current if in the question line voltage and line currents are given using this formula you can well calculate suppose line voltages are given that is uh, uh, vry vyb v vr are given and uh, line currents are given make use of this formula and uh, use this uh, uh, equations of power to do the calculations now important part is how to draw the phasor diagram listen carefully first i have drawn these red color lines corresponding to vr vy and vb vr vy and vb represents voltage drop across r y and b so vr vb and uh, vy are known as phase voltage vph first i have drawn these three red color lines which are 120 degree apart Remember one basic things. In case of star connection, if load is inductive, current always lags voltage by an angle phi. So first I have drawn these red colored lines. Then every current, this line is for VR. So corresponding current is IR, which is lagging by an angle phi. Remember, we are following this path. We are rotating like this. So this current is lagging, IR is lagging, then VR by an angle phi. Same way, IY is corresponding current to vy it is also lagging by an angle phi ib is also lagging by an angle phi don't get confused we are moving like this so ib is lagging than uh, vb now so this is this is the basic thing which i have completed how to complete the entire phasor diagram this line represents vr so this is the voltage vr is the voltage which is the phase voltage now, if I will extend this line in the backward direction like this, it is same as VR, rather it is minus VR. Now, how to complete the remaining part? What we want to do? We want these values, VRY, VYB and VBR. If we are talking about this line, if I will extend this VR line at the backward direction, which is shown by the dotted line, rather it is minus VR. Now, how to complete the remaining part? So, since this is minus VR, I want the voltage VBR. So it is combination of VR and VB. I have uh, extended VR in the backward direction. So if I will draw one more diagram like this, like this, parallel to this line, it represents again VB, same as VB. So let us complete this rectangle like this. What I did, I have extended VR in the backward direction. I have drawn a line parallel to VB. So this line is again VB. Now draw the resultant. This resultant represents VBR because it is resultant of VB and VR. This line is corresponding to VR. This is completion of phasor diagram for one part. Same way, same concept, we have to extend it for each and everything. Now, what I said, I, I have explained you related to VR. Let us talk about VY. If you extend VY in the backward direction like this, like this, so it is rather minus VY. I want VYB. So it is VY. Similarly, this line is VB. So what we have to do? We have extended VY in the backward direction. Suppose I want to calculate, let us first calculate V R Y. So this is V R, this is V Y. Now, if I will draw a line parallel to this V B, the line will be like this, like this. It is parallel to V B. So this is same as V B. Let us complete this triangle like this. So it represents the resultant value. Now think like this, I want to calculate V R Y. How to do it? Forget about this part. Just to avoid the confusion, I am telling you V R Y. This is the line of V Y. Now skip this line. If you just extend, draw a parallel line to this, I will use black color. So line parallel to V Y will be like this. Let us complete this rectangle like this. And this is the resultant which gives value V R Y. Same way, earlier I explained about V B and R. Now this is V R Y. Same way. Now this line is V B. If I will extend V B in the backward direction, I will get it like this. This is same as the line V B in opposite direction. Now if I want, suppose V B Y. 
then this is the line corresponding to vy i have extended this vb in the backward direction so this this line is same as vb now like the earlier case uh, what we have to do we have to draw a line parallel to vy how to do it as i said this is vb so from this point if you sketch the line parallel to vb this like this line is same as vb let us complete the rectangle like this and draw the resultant from this point to this which represents v y b so this is the complete phasor diagram for star connection load next part is delta connection it is again very much similar to the star connection only small differences are there this diagram is known as the del diagram for delta connection z indicates impedance r y b are the three phases uh, like the previous star connection this is the list of formulae now observe the difference in this case line currents are ir iy ib phase currents are ibr ir y iyb now remember this sequence we have we are supposed to move like this r to y y to b then phase voltages are r y y b v b r this is vph and 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 very important part remember this rule i vl is equals to vph in earlier case in case of star connection it was line current is same as phase current in this case line voltage is same as phase voltage whereas line current is root 3 times iph this is the list of formulae to calculate the value of power so if you just logically remember this set of equations see again to remember the uh, formula of power is pretty simple you just have to remember the basic formula 3 vph iph then active power is multiply this by cos phi reactive power is multiply this term basic term by sin phi and logically remember these equations will be in a position to solve any numerical most important part is how to draw the phasor diagram now like the earlier case remember it logically i have drawn three axes shown by the blue uh, colored pen so it is vry vyb vbr these are the first three axes which i have drawn again keeping in the mind the sequence r to y y to b so it is r to y v y b y to b and v b r again b to r like this okay every time the corresponding current first what i said i have drawn this voltage axis v r y v y b v b r now every current lags the corresponding voltage by some angle phi so this is v r y this current i r y lags that angle phi do remember we are moving it like this so in case of vbr this current ibr is again lagging by an angle phi similarly for vyb this current iyb again lags by an angle phi now how to complete the remaining part see this line this line is corresponding to ibr i am talking about this line if you extend it in backward direction like this this is minus ibr now from this line draw a parallel line to iry and let us complete the rectangle like this then draw the resultant this resultant will be value of ir same technique we have to follow in each quadrant now come back to this quadrant this current is iry if i will extend it in the backward direction this will be minus iry from this draw a line parallel to iyb then complete this rectangle like this this resultant will give me value iy same method this is iyb if you will extend it in backward direction this will be minus iyb draw a line parallel to ibr so this line will be again ibr complete the rectangle like this draw the resultant this line will be this is ir iy this will be ib this is the complete phasor diagram so dear student you don't have to mug up it just remember follow the simple instructions you will be in a position to draw any phasor diagram the next part is transformers this is the basic symbol of transformer now <clears throat> remember the uh, important conventions v1 is the supply voltage v2 is the output voltage which is the voltage taken across load now this is the transformer this winding is known as primary winding number of turns of primary winding are n1 this is secondary winding number of turns are n2 e1 represents primary induced voltage this is rms voltage 
E2 is prime secondary induced voltage. Now these are the formulae which are required for solving the numericals. You might think there are a lot of formulae. It is not at all the formula are very simple. Before that, before I forget, uh, you need to prepare the derivation for EMF induced in case of transformer, which is uh, in an important derivation. So I have written the formulae E1 is 4.44 phi m phi is the flux phi m represents the maximum flux f is the operating frequency n1 is the corresponding number of turns at the primary side similarly e2 4.44 phi m f n2 now emf ratio is e1 by e2 which is same as n1 by n2 where n1 by n2 is known as the turns ratio of transformer primary number of turns divided by secondary number of turns then Voltage ratio V1 by V2 is same as N1 by N2. Transformation ratio is given by E2 by E1 which is same as V2 by V1 which is N2 by N1. Do remember one basic thing. If there is no load, under no load condition, E2 by E1 is same as V2 by V1. So this is the condition under no load condition. Now the current ratio, only current ratio is different. All other ratios are very much similar. Current ratio is given by I1 by I2 is V2 by V1. It is reverse way. I1 by I2 is equals to V2 by V1. Now, again for solving the numericals, this formula is important. KVA rating is given as, do remember like this, KVA is kilo volt ampere. So kilo volt means the value should be multiplied uh, with the factor 1000. So to calculate KVA rating, use this formula V1 I1 upon 1000 or V2 I2 upon 1000. I1 is primary current, I2 is secondary current. Then another important formula, another very important formula is calculation of efficiency. You can expand the numericals related to this calculation of efficiency. N is the fraction which will be given in the question, like, like 0.75. So value of N will be 0.75. VA rating will be again given in the question. For example, in the numerical it is mentioned as it is 500 kVA transformer. Then how to calculate value of VA? Very simple, it is 500 kVA. So corresponding value of VA will be 500 into 1000. Likewise, you will get value of VA cos phi. Phi is the uh, phase factor. So value of phase or uh, it will be PF will be given in the question. Leading and lagging is immaterial as far as transformer is concerned because you are taking cos of that value. So everything will be positive. Then in the denominator, I have the same term plus PI. PI represents iron losses. PCU represents the copper losses. This is again N square. And do remember this important term. For maximum efficiency, PI is equal to PCU. That is iron losses is equal to copper losses. So if in the numerical only copper losses are mentioned and it is represented to calculate efficiency or maximum efficiency, by default PI is same as PCU and N is equal to 1. So making use of this formula, I mean this list of formula, you will be in a position to solve any numerical related to the transformer. Next part is auto transformer. Uh, an important criteria for auto transformer is part of the winding is common between primary and secondary winding. I have shown only one winding and one tapping point is shown. See, this is the case of step down transformer. There are major two types of transformers. One is step down, another is step up. As the name indicates, step down means input voltage will be reduced. Step up means input voltage will be increased at the secondary side. So this is the primary side. Number of turns at the primary side are more. While some number of turns, let us say this point is B, this point is C, this point is A. So from B to C, these number of turns are common for secondary winding as well as primary winding. This point is known as a tapping point. This is basically a wiper. We can well change the position. Accordingly, the number of secondary turns can be managed. V2 is the voltage available at the uh, load. So it is output voltage. V1 is the supply input voltage. Now, if it is asked to calculate the output voltage, make use of the simple formula. We have voltage ratio V2 by V1 is equal to N2 by N1. So from this, you can calculate the output voltage. V2 is V1 into N2 by N1. Very simple trick to calculate the output voltage. But as I said, this is the diagram for step down auto transformer. 
if you want to draw the diagram for step up transformer how to do it as the name indicates step up means it is increasing the output voltage so i will just make the change in the diagram the primary side will be connected like this a small part will be common whereas secondary will be connected like this so this will be the voltage v2 so this is the diagram for step up at a transformer important part is it is similar to the normal transformer only difference is that part of the winding is common between primary and secondary so dear students that's it for uh, today's session i consider this as part one of revision in which i have completed unit number three and unit number four so uh, i will complete the remaining parts that is unit number five and six in part two so that's it for today's session thank you thanks a lot